Welcome, welcome, welcome <laughs> to Kickstarter Radio 102.4. I'm your host today, Lipstick Patty, and we're looking at Arena the Contest, second printing, or oh, 1.5 as they call it. Yes, Arena the Contest, a giant, a giant dungeon crawler. Wow! Originally from March 2018, raised almost three quarters of a million dollars with over 4,000 backers it's back again in february this year it's on kickstarter now it's been on kickstarter for a week it's fully matured we'll see just what this is like what they're offering but even though it was an excellent game it did have its problems in the leveling up of your character it was pretty lightweight and nothing special partly because it was balancing the pvp in the PvE, not many enemy types. Simple AI to the enemy. But when it came to the campaign, an epic 40 hour quests were amazing. Totally top of the class. This game is about the adventure mode. So let's see, has 1.5 got changed things up, improved the game, and also the minis from the first edition. They were nothing to write home about. Let's see if they've addressed the mini quality. So let's go and see what the Kickstarter's like. Well, here we are on the Kickstarter page and wow, check that out. One million dollars raised. Over five and a half thousand backers. Well, they've knocked it out of the park this time. That is way more than their first Kickstarter. Congratulations to the team! <laughs> Whoa, and check this dragon out. How cool is that? And what is this? Your free box, madness box, Tanaris Adventures. What is this? Tanaris Adventures. A massive expansion for a hundred hours! Here we look, second print with reworked minis. Surely that isn't the only thing in 1.5, rework minis. What about the um, the AI and the enemy types? And a legendary dragon collection. Okay. Why back this project now? This, today's pledges are cheaper than late pledges. Oh, come on! <laughs> tax, tax the poor! <laughs> I, they should have a timed pledge. Pledge manager opens for that first month, maybe two months of grace time, where the price is the same. Then put the prices up. We saw that with Madara. A grace period in the pledge manager, so the price is the same. We can't just fork out for giant Kickstarters all the time. Look at all that stuff! Look at it! <laughs> oh my god! Look at all these minis! Are these the um, enemy types? More enemy types. Good to see. <sighs> okay. 100 hours. This is the content. <laughs> you can see the big board game geek 9.2 and 1 to 8 players. Okay, they're starting off with the arena box. $69, that is cheaper than the original Kickstarter, but I guess the stretch goal is not in the box, right? Tanaris Adventure is 100 hours. Reading to learn more about that. Ooh, it's $99 and you need the core box? Are you kidding me? If you're coming in here new and you just want the Tanaris Adventure, you've got to get the core box? You've got to have what's coming out of this box that you need for this? Really? Are you kidding me?
Can I get rewards from the first campaign? Yes. <laughs> there was a mini box, a miniature box for $90 last time. You've got to add that to your pledge. And the stretch goal add-on, how much is that? That's a hidden cost going into the pledge manager. That'll be over a hundred dollars. <laughs> Let's see if they've answered that question. Okay, the dragon is a box on its own. You can get it painted for seventy-nine dollars. I think you'd be trying to save money ordering all this stuff. Here's the new backup pledge. Okay, two hundred and thirty-five. The necessary core box for the Ternaris adventures. And the dragon. How much is the uh, Ternaris? The Ternaris adventure with the main box is $168. Ouch. Plus you're gonna wanna get this exclusive content as well. So it's, this is pushing $500, right? Okay, so the Madness box is the stretch goals. Loads of pages of stuff, extra cards, more quests. Three new heroes, three villains, scenario mini. Okay, that'll be like furniture maybe. A new top game mode. The tray, we do like trays. And a, a new tile. <laughs> One tile. Yeah, look at these minis, looking fantastic, guys. Knocking it out of the park this time. It is 2020. See the furniture for the dungeons here, the barrels. Ooh, still work to do, team. When's this, when's this due? October 2020. No, no, that's the core box. When's the uh, Tanaris thing ready? April 2021. All right, we've still got um, 14 months to go. All right. This is all from the first, is it? <laughs> Look at this. A 24 guide page, not 24 guide book. That's what that looks like to me. You've got 24 guidebooks. 65 pages. Look at this box. <laughs> Our page is a one centimeter thick. It is a giant journal. Ooh, look at that. <laughs> look at that low res image there for the plastic tray. Are you kidding me? You couldn't get a better image for that. That is a terrible picture. A city structure upgrade. What is that? An infinite game mode, okay. You've got a character that doesn't have great character development, but you're gonna be playing this basic character for infinite. <laughs> okay, loads of artwork, quests. This doesn't really mean anything. That's just fluff. Here's the adventures. Oh, look at the horse. Pegasus. Wow, take the armor on. Yeah, looking cool. Maps for the game. These commanders are looking great, right? Not really telling me much of the game, just throwing minis at me at the minute. Look at this, just hidden information. Yeah, more minutes, looking good. Total number of cards in the game is 260 to be stretched fast. What does stretched fast mean? Can't tell me how many is in the base of the, um, the base of the adventures. City cards, what are they? <laughs>
Wow, look at those board tiles. I, I wonder if they're going to spot UV stuff this, and um, like we saw with Madara. You know, really push the game boards. It's 2020 now. We want to see effects on our boards. Are you going to um, rise up to the competition, I guess? Madara, actually, um, on, on Valentine's Day, is going for pre-order again. So... It's a big week, <laughs> and if you include Frosthaven, it's a big two months, isn't it? February, March. 31 villains. Here we're talking now. Look at this. Ooh. Lots of variety. I wonder if the minis from the first box are coming over. <laughs> That'd be a pain, wouldn't it? You're going to bring those minis again that we fought so many times in that first campaign? That is it! That's all you're showing. Whoa, 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 whoa. This page is huge. I, I'm not even 20% through it yet. <laughs> oh my god, this is like three Kickstarters in one. Are you kidding me? A $79 box add on the Dragon Collection. Adds a new city structure. That doesn't mean anything to me. <laughs> okay, another box that you, you're probably going to want again. Look at these dragons, man. How are these going to fit in the one box? Are they pre-assembled? Would you pay $80 to get these painted? Let's have a look. <laughs> oh, did their eyes glow up? Did they have batteries? That'd be cool. Sign me up. <laughs> I'll take three of them. Three sets. Yeah, they're going to look fantastic painted. Are you kidding me? This is pre-rendered stuff though, right? Of course they look epic. They're dragons, for goodness sake. Okay, I'll, I'll let you view this stuff in your own time. Wow, look at the painted mini. Looks like it's been airbrushed. Fantastic detailing, look at that. And that's all we're showing so far. Back to the color box! Back to the low res picture! That's got to be the worst picture! Got to go in the competition for the worst picture on a Kickstarter campaign for 2020. Look at low res on that. It's terrible. Like, what is this white thing? It could be a tissue. It's that so low res. So low res. <laughs> Welcome to 2020. Ah, the reworked heroes. This is from the base game, so they're not changing any of this. They're not updating their tiles. And of course the walls and the doors have minis um, in an expansion in the base in the first campaign. Will the other heroes from that also be updated? That's an important question. Yeah, D D20s in this game. D20s. It's the only die you've got. You're always rolling the D20. There's no, you know, upgrading to the next bigger dice, upgrading to this dice. There's no character development. That's a big thing for me, is the development of a character. And the role play of these dungeons in this game doesn't really want to consider it. Partly because of the PvP balance that they've got going on. Who's who's buying this with PvP? Look at this. 294 cards. Not telling me how many level up cards. I can tell you there's not many. Yep, game boards from the beginning. You the kind of you, you build these up with from the book. Four board scenario cosmetics. Getting close to 500 if not over. 
Ah, the Medusa. This was the day one. Or the um, early bird special. Mini improvement. You better believe it, sunshine. Look at that! This is like little hero just got upgraded to a knight. Here's your new armor, dude. New shield, take a new sword, have a haircut. You better believe it. Look at his base. <laughs> that armor looks twice as heavy, right? Yep, all new reworked hero models. Sounds fantastic, doesn't it? If you're a returning backer from the first campaign, pledge for Tanara's Adventures to get a pack with 12 core heroes and get all 28 heroes free. Reworked. 28 heroes. Yeah, but you're doing 100 hours with the adventure with one hero. I would rather have four heroes only with a huge level up system than this 28 hero, which just is an epic waste of space. <laughs> okay, move it on. Huge minis, stretch cuts. Whoa. What is this? 5,000 increments? What? <laughs> okay, that's cool. The, the, all this stuff's going in the madness box, I take it. There's just a ton of stuff. A couple of videos as well. Ton of stuff to come and look at if you're interested. Oh my god. Look at this stuff. Just look at it! <laughs> well, you're definitely going to get a ton of content in these boxes. City upgrade. What is it? What's the city upgrade? Oh my god, they've spent so much real estate on their stretch goals. They've, they've given you more information in the stretch goals here than the actual free boxes up above. An alternate beginning. What is that? Was that planned for the. Uh, <laughs> standalone box that you decided not to do a standalone box with. I'm just jesting. Chapter 1 Raiding the Ship. I wonder if these are quests. They seem to have uh, they got a name. The Elements of Plane. I wonder if these are quests that you're unlocking. I'd... Mm, interesting. Tons of questions, I bet, for this game. Tons of questions. Look at that. You'd only needed 50k to fund. That is ridiculous. There's no way you could have made all these boxes for 50k. <laughs> that is a lie. I wonder how much they really needed to push this out. Anyhow. They did stretch goals from 50k. 100k, okay. <laughs> this is the community stuff. Mm -hmm. ooh, ooh, ooh. Someone with one million followers! <laughs> Personal exact. You want a celebrity to buy this game? Well, not yet. 500 followers, man. <laughs> yeah, it has been showing on Kick Track for sure. Board Game Geek, it was on the list for sure. Look at this, 4,000 backers in the first two days. That is all of probably returning backers flooding to the game. They have such a good fan base, this game. Loyal, I would say. We're back at the adventures now. Wow, this Kickstarter is a bit of a mess, isn't it? it it's like three Kickstarters all interwoven. <laughs> We had a bit of the base, a bit of the adventures, a bit of the dragon, then a bit of the base, then the stretch goals, no the adventures. They could have had three Kickstarter pages and made it clearer. I'm 
yes. A new improved epic campaign. Yeah, at least twice as big. Divide eight heroes into two teams that travel separate journeys and come back together for the final epic mission. Is that 50 hours each? That sounds pretty cool. That's interesting. I guess that's the innovation we're looking for. <laughs> innovation. Yeah, every single choice of path, every single choice you make does affect the story and upcoming missions. It says here city cards and stuff. You know, it, this is one of the great things about the game is meaningful choices. New combat role. Pete Commander comes to shake things up in PvP. They're still pushing the PvP. You mean this Pegasus character is only PvP? What? The setting. Seeing as the story is supposed to be spectacular, they think they'd have some lore videos up here. Man, I guess a lot of these written pages here could have just had a video showing you it. Read the prelude. Fast action mode, you can ignore the story. You can, you can ignore the main thing that is great about this game. <laughs> Prepare for the quest. Looking great. Random encounters. <laughs> can you imagine getting uh, going in a dungeon and the random encounter throws all the minis from the first core game at you? I played 40 hours for these minis and I've got them in the bloody expansion. <laughs> A plethora of 70 different villains. You better believe we were listening to you. Random encounters. Who was asking for that? Make like the same quest dozens of times. With all those heroes doing the same quests over and over and over. That's their game. Look at these room tiles. Yep, you see these walls here and the doors? This is an expansion from the first game. This is going to be in the Pledge Manager, and it's, I want to say $89, I can't remember, but you should definitely visit the original campaign. Just to find out this stuff. CD phase, here we go. <laughs> we are miles down the page, and now they're talking about a city phase. This is something new. We want to know what's new, what we're getting that's new, and you're hiding it down here. Man, this could have been a video as well. They could have made this so amazing with videos. In Tanaris Adventures, we have the new city phase. Nope, we're just going to write some fluff here. Mm. Could have marketed this a little better here, the city phase. I mean, it sounds really interesting. <sighs> city cards, not going to spoiler it. Every story that can be skipped or might happen in one of several different ways develops in the journal. Over 1,000 paragraphs and alternatives to choose from in situations you will want to carefully debate with your party. That sounds pretty good. You've got, you've got two teams, two co-op teams, and you're all deciding in the city where you're going. 
you, are they going to go that way? You're going to go this way. Sounds fantastic. And you've got it in a little bit of text here. You could have really added video with drama about this city phase. It sounds amazing. Are you kidding me? Sarah, the seer. Check her out. In the city. <laughs> Yeah, it looks fantastic, the city part. I'm really interested. Relics, these are the puzzles that you find in the in the dungeon. Yeah, you've got to have a reason for going in these places, right? To get these special relics. <laughs> Artificial intelligent for heroes. What? You need to fix this with your enemy types, not the heroes. <laughs> I want to play PvP, but I don't have, have anyone to play PvP with me. But we've solved it. We give artificial intelligence to the PvP characters. Ah, okay, it says here that you can um, play an epic campaign by controlling a single hero and letting the AI determine the behavior of the rest of the team. All right, there we go. Here's the uh, D20s that you're using. Only two dice in the whole game. <laughs> We're back to the arena now, back to the, the base. and bumps, yeah, yeah. Lots of links here. One video. One, one video? Are you kidding me? You've got no other videos to tell people how good this game is. You've got a BGG of 9.2 and you've got only one video. There should be a plethora of videos to really showcase this game. You know, great marketing is common sense. Shipping, all that good stuff. Second wave is the adventures. Still in the planning phase, I guess, 2021. Dragon is finished though, look at that. Could have done the core box on its own. Kickstarter, 1.5 Kickstarter. Um, with a dragon expansion that would have been cool and done a Tenaris adventure second kickstart later on in the year would have been better than throwing it all on one kickstart in February when we've got Madara coming out on pre-orders on Valentine's Day and Frosthaven coming out next month alright <laughs> Who has $500 they're going to drop on this thing? All right. I guess you could get the base and go in and hope to God the pledge manager is open and for the whole year. That will make it a little bit. That is a, that is a huge question they need to be asked, answering here. Is the pledge manager going to be open all year so I can at least balance this budget out? It could be $500 all in, especially with the hidden expansions coming to the pledge manager. This is very important. Like, I definitely would be back in this game if this stuff was in your face, telling you, letting you know the burden of the cost of this game and saying that the pledge manager yes will be open for you you know i want to see a video of that a welcoming video <laughs> oh my god six questions in the faq no one's asking more questions than that all questions non-related to 
Tanaris or the Dragon Adventure? There's got to be a ton of questions in your comments. You Seriously, someone needs to get all the questions from the comments and put it in the FAQ. Or put it on a BGG page. I have not seen an extended FAQ. This definitely needs upgrading. If you want more new backers coming to this game, you're going to need that just to sell the project even in a better way. I would say community, you need to do videos, short videos of how good this game is. It's not listed on here. We've got one video for how good this game is. Again, 9.2, yet it's not showing this off. I think this Kickstarter is not doing as good as it could be showing this off. And I have seen the video. You can watch that in your own time. Doesn't answer any questions. But hey, the project is a super success. It could be doing better. That's all I'm saying. We're talking, you know, maybe double this. Two million it could hit. Just need some extra polish on the marketing. All right, there you go. I've been Lipstick Paddy for Kiss 102.4. <laughs> and yeah, have fun looking through this epic campaign and um, do check out its BGG link. Check the updates out as well. Lots of community stuff happening and the comments, an epic amount of questions that are in there, again, needs to be sorted. Please, somebody related to the project, a backer maybe, that can really do this game justice by showing more of the Q&A is hugely needed. All right, before we go then, Germany, look at that. Flying the flag for the second biggest country for board gamers though. <laughs> All right, there you go, but guys, you take it easy. I will speak to you next time. Every Friday, I am live looking at the low-hanging fruit on Kickstarter, where you can talk to me and find out more about um, the other Kickstarters. You can ask me any questions you want also. So live on Friday and spotlight videos throughout the weeks. This is Key Kiss 102.4. Take care.